Hi, welcome again to the Baz Tutorials. This is number seven. We're going to make a subtractive synthesizer. Um, and for the first part of this, I guess what we need are some objects. I'm going to make a new object. And to make a subtractive synthesizer, we're talking about something that produces a, an oscillator or something that produces a f something with more than just one frequency, uh, frequency rich and then it runs through some kind of filter as you might imagine and then we hear it yes uh, I'm gonna make a new object called um, saw which is a sawtooth um, wave generator and again it has an argument just like cycle of a frequency I'm gonna go with 110 this time to get it a little lower okay uh, and for our filter, I'm going to use something, a new object, again, just clicking in on my keyboard, called low res, the tilde. It's a, low, uh, a resonant low-pass filter. It takes two arguments. One would be the uh, center frequency. It doesn't really matter. We're going to change that. We'll give it 220. And the second argument is going to be the resonance, <coughs> which is a value between 0 and 1. Um, which determines how resonant, you know, what the uh, resonance, how much is fed back into the uh, input, if you like. I like to think about it in, that, in those terms. So the resonance, I'm going to stick it at 0 0.9 to make it fairly resonant. Uh, third thing, I guess, is always good in this kind of um, synthesizer building is just some kind of multiplier. Uh, again, multiplier tilde. And I'll put an argument of uh, 0.2 or something. Keep it kind of quiet. Uh, keep it on the low now here. And then we'll put uh, another one of them easy DAX, uh, which we've seen a million times before. Uh, there's the easy DAC. Yes. Now, I don't know why I didn't hook these all up. I might as well just do that. Outlet of the saw goes to the inlet of the low res. The outlet of the low res goes to the in left inlet of the um, of the multiplier. Interestingly, you scroll across that; it says this right inlet. Hmm, interesting. Uh, and then the outlet of the uh, multiply go into the easy DAC. We can listen to it through both speakers if we like. And I suppose if we turn the easy DAC on, we'll hear something. Just like that. All right. Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do to make this slightly more exciting than than that uh, is to change this frequency here. If we just for the moment hook up a, a number box, and since it's an integer number box, I guess that's the logic. I on your keyboard is the shortcut to create one of those objects. Um, if we just put that into the cutoff frequency inlet, the middle inlet of low res. Turn this thing on. You'll notice we get that kind of classic filter sweep thing going on. 